Good afternoon, everybody. Hope your week is going well. It has been a bit of a wild week here, but we are here. It is Thursday, and we're ready to do this training. So, three simple things that you can cut to improve your health. The bonus of these three things are, or is, it will also save on your budget. So if you're looking for ways to improve your health without breaking the bank, here's some tips for you as well. Number one, sugary drinks. Pop is the worst offender of this. Pop is loaded with sugar. Not only is it loaded with sugar, but it's actually loaded with artificial modified sugars. Mostly being high fructose corn syrup. So there's lots of issues with high fructose corn syrup. Um, one of those being it can be contaminated with things during the process. I believe it's one of the heavy metals. Merc not mercury. I don't remember off the top of my head. I looked it up at one point. But um, a 44, or not a 44, a 60, 16 ounce Coke has 44 gra grams of sugar. And that's usually in the form of high fructose corn syrup, like I said. The other problem with high fructose corn syrup is that it's absorbed differently in the body than regular raw sugar. It's absorbed quicker. It absorbs readily into the muscles instead of going through other processes. This is why a lot of people who are sensitive to fructose have to watch how much it, they get because it will start creating spasms in their muscles if they get too much of it. Or other issues. That just tends to be my issue is I start getting spasms in specific muscles if I have too much at one time. This also goes with fruit. Um, my biggest recommendation I was given was avoid high fructose corn syrup period and the fructose you do consume make sure it is whole and the good fructose meaning straight from the fruit. So you're getting some of that other stuff to help slow down the breakdown and the absorption. Juice is another big offender. We all think of juice as being the good um, alternative drink. We all give kids juice, right? Actually, I don't really give my kids juice. They get that at grandma's house and that's about it. But the problem with juice is they have almost as much sugar as pop. And a lot of them have added sugar in. Instead of um, just being a whole juice. Gatorade has a ton of sugar. We all, like, athletes drink it to replace the electrolytes that they've lost, but it has a ton of sugar in it, which can cause more issues than it is actually helping. If you use the Gatorade powder, split it in half. Like, do double the water to the powder is actually better. Same taste, it won't cause nearly as many issues. Another thing you can do, and I'd have to look up the recipe again because I haven't done it, but you can actually make your own electrolyte drink that doesn't have the sugar and it still tastes good. I've actually, a lot of women use this during labor. It's like a labor aid. It's basically the same thing. It just gives you a little bit of an energy boost, replaces those electrolytes without all the sugar. That's true. Um, yes just making sure I'm covering everything. So the other problem, okay, so there's going to be, this is gonna be linked to a blog down below and it'll have this fine numbers in it so you can go and look them up. Save me time. Why is sugar bad? Well, number one, sugar gives the body quick energy, which is great when you need that boost. The problem is you go up, it's kind of like a roller coaster. It brings you up really fast, but then it crashes hard when it runs out. So you're in this constant, like, you ever notice, like, during the holidays when you're consuming a ton of sugar? It's up and down, up and down, and you're just, like, completely wiped out, and then you're up on top of a hill, and then you're completely wiped again? That's the sugar roller coaster, and that's not healthy. Sugar also fights the body's immune system. This is why a lot of times, well we saw it this year, 
We see it every fall around Halloween, around Thanksgiving, and around Christmas. Shortly after Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, those holidays, when we have a ton of sugar, people get sick afterwards. Especially kids. Especially after Halloween. This year we saw it as a spike in the coronaviruses, out cases. There's a lot of factors coming in together with that, but a lot of kids get sick after, think, after Halloween because they've had this massive uptake in sugar that has fought their immune system is now down here instead of being up here, so now they're getting sick by all of those bugs and bacteria that normally come in in the fall because we're all inside and we're all swapping germs instead of being outside. This also, sugar is also an inflammatory food in the body. Um, a lot of people who have issues with all over general aches and pains, cut your sugar. Sugar also feeds yeast and that creates that imbalance in your body again where you're getting more of the sugar cravings because it eats on sugar. Throws off the gut balance, throws off and creates acne, breakouts, all over just general mood depressors. Sugar's not good. <laughs> Basically, avoid it. So if you want to drink something, what do you drink then, right? Water. Um, I'd say occasionally the no sugar added juice is okay, but use with extreme moderation um, because there's still a lot of sugar in those. The problem with the sugars in the juice, even the no sugar added juice, is it's literally just the juice. There's no fiber, there's no anything else. It is just juice, which is sugar in itself. If you want to flavor your water um, and you want that juice, like that lemonade or that orange juice flavor, take fruit slices. Get a glass jar. Those You can get those cute little mason jars. I should have brought mine in here. Um, with a spigot, fill it up. You can get them in gallon, two gallon, however much water you wanna drink. If you wanna have all orange water for a day, cut up an orange, slice it, fill that thing full of water the night before, and let it sit. Let it sit in your fridge. And now you have orange flavored water. If you want more of a variety, you could use Vitality essential oils. So Vitality essential oils are labeled for internal consumption. Things like lemon, orange, lime, they tend to be my favorites to put in water. Use a stainless steel or glass drinking thing. I put, will put one drop in my Yeti and it's usually good for two or three Phillips. The first one's kind of strong and it kind of goes down a little bit after that. But the problem, you, you want to do that because those essential oils will actually break down the synthetics in the plastic bottles. Um, so your plastic bottles and they break down and that's all the BPA, that's why they say don't put use BPA bottles, that gets in your water. Magdalene, um, what about tea, what can I use to sweeten it? So a good one would be honey. Um, you can also get raw coconut sugar. There was another one that's more of a raw form um, that has fiber in it too, not just straight white sugar. So that'd be my two big things that you could use alternatively. The second thing you can do is eliminate highly processed foods from your diet. This is a big one. These are basically anything that is not picked or harvested. Um, directly. So box dinners, canned fruits, canned vegetables, foods with extra filler ingredients in them. Um, best thing, become a chronic label reader. We had a special guest a while back who said recommended going through and putting an X through things as you read their labels and you, they're already in your house and then finding something better as you go shopping next thing. Avoid just sugar substitutes. Um, these are not the raw, but the sugar substitutes like high fructose corn syrup. Um, there's another one. The stevia powder, I think it is. One of them. 
The liquid is fine, the powder is not, and that has to do with the fillers in it. If you're unfamiliar with any ingredients in that dinner or whatever, look them up. Here's a quick list of things you want to avoid. Obviously high fructose corn syrup, MSG, aspartame, sodium benzite, sodium nitrate, sucralose, that's another processed sugar, acylfeminine, filament potassium, that's a hard word, yeast extract, and anything with dye, so this is red dye number whatever, yellow dye, avoid them. Your body can't process them well, it just stores them and it just bogs down your system. Replace those food with raw foods and that's raw foods. So meat, if you can buy it straight from a farm, fantastic. You are not going to get one with all the extra crap they put in it. A lot of especially ground beef you buy from the store is filled with extra fat, fillers, red dye to keep it looking pretty and red. The other issue is a lot of times they'll slip other filler things in like um, fake meat or lab grown meat or the Wonder Burger or soy beef or random other things to make that product stretch. That's why you can buy beef for a dollar or less at Walmart. It's not really 100% beef. Side tangent, we'll go there later. If you need help finding meat, let me know. I have lots of friends who can hook you up. Another thing, raw fruits and vegetables. If you need... We're lucky we have a garden. Um, our beans are still canned, though, because that's how we store them. We don't like frozen beans, so we can them. But it's still better than the extra sugar, thick syrup that you buy like at the store. If you have to buy stuff from the store, try and buy fresh. Look at your cans. Look for light syrups, not stuff that's thick and heavy syrups or sugars or salts. Fresh fruits, always better. You can buy them in bulk if you have the freezer space. Freeze them. If not, invest in a dehydrator. You can get them fairly cheap and dehydrate. I do that with bananas a lot because they travel better, honestly. Third, caffeine. We all like this, especially me, as I'm drinking a cup of coffee, right? But yes, caffeine is another big one. Pop, biggest offender. Caffeine, also not very good. The issue you have is Again, the roller coaster. It's the same roller coaster as sugar gives you, except it's caffeine instead that's fueling your body up and down. So I some people live like mainline on caffeine all day and coffee because their body cannot function without it anymore. Problems with excessive caffeine use it can have long-term health effects. It's a stimulant. It increases your heart rate and your blood pressure. It also makes the body and brain dependent on it. It can, it changes the pH in the body as well, which makes it more susceptible to the diseases and whatnot. So what do you drink if you need that boost, right? The best thing, well, A, drink water. Like water is honestly your best thing. If you do need caffeine, um, caffeine from natural sources, like tea, green tea, it doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it, honestly. But when I need that extra boost, my Ningxia Red and my Ningxia Nitro are two of my favorite, um, especially the Nitro. So Ningxia is a fruit puree, not a juice. They actually take the whole berry and grind the whole berry, stem, leaf, core, all of it gets ground up, which is why it breaks down slower. It gives you all the whole nutrient profile, not just a little sliver of it, which also gives you all the vitamins and minerals and fiber and everything. It's fantastic. 
Ningxian Nitro is actually like a super concentrated and it has a little bit of caffeine in it. Like, I don't remember the exact amount, but it's not much. And it's naturally sourced because it comes from that berry that it's made out of. Nitro is also loaded with ribro, ribose. So geek out science here for a minute. The key component of the ATP cycle, which is what your body runs on, like ATP is how all energy is made in the body. The key ingredient in that triangle because it's adenine triphosphate, so it's one adenine molecule, three phosphates. Ribose is joining all of those. If you don't have enough ribose, you can't make ATP. You don't have energy. So there's a fun little nerd tidbit for you. So, those are the three biggest things you can do to improve your health, save your budget, And they're simple. So we will see you guys next week. Bye.